Sing Sing recently sang her way to becoming the first Chinese female intern in the PricewaterhouseCoopers Dame Malvina Major Emerging Artists Program. For budding opera singers, it is the opportunity of a lifetime, the chance to have understudy roles in New Zealand opera productions, get at least six months of training, and work with experienced artists. I was very, very excited. I felt um, it was expected, but also was a surprise because um, as, a, you know, as an Asian face in this um, operatic world, I would never imagine myself become an emerging artist with a New Zealand opera company. And being an inter, even being an inter and study with all the international singers and have the chance to work with the, the first class musician in this world. I think it's just um, a dream. <laughs> She's won many awards before, but this internship has had the biggest impact on her singing career. We obviously pay them um, a living wage all for the whole year so that they don't have to have a job to get extra money for work. Um, it's not a huge amount of money, but it does allow them to dedicate themselves to just improving their craft. Sing Sing's interest in singing began very early on. I have always loved singing since I could make a noise. <laughs> and um, I couldn't even... I, I remember my dad told me I couldn't even sing, prop, sing words properly, but I could sing the tune. <laughs> she wanted to study music in China, but this was not to be. When I was 16, I decided that I, I would go um, to do it professionally and study at a conservatoire. And I visited the Central Conservatoire I visited a singing professor there, and she didn't come after I sang. She didn't comment on my singing, but she only said that I wouldn't get in because I was too short. Forced to give up her passion, she came to New Zealand to study accounting. But she still had the singing bug, and after her first year at Victoria University, she auditioned and was accepted into the School of Music. Sing Sing was in her last year in university when she was selected for the program. We select not just for the voice. We want somebody who's really got a very, very good sense of direction about where they want to go, and they're going to make the most use of this award. And that's why Xing Xing was selected. She had all those qualities, a very intelligent brain. So that extra wisdom, that extra strength, just caps her off as a very... She's a wonderful actress as well, which I really like about her. During her years at uni, she had to rely on her raw talent and musical aptitude to make up for the lack of formal training. I found she was really, really keen and she was really focused and she had a very good musical background. She had a really great idea of how she wanted to sound, but she didn't know how to get that sound, really. So she was having a few problems with intonation and things because the way she was trying to make the sound wasn't the best way to make the sound. Through that time, uh, She's improved and she's got the idea now, absolutely. She's got such good control over her voice and it means that she can really make the expressive sort of sound that she wants to make. Through dedication, Sing Sing has emerged as a singer of remarkable talent. So she's taken on all the other languages as well as English. She can sing in English as well as French, German, Italian. I think I'd be very happy with her singing in any language, actually. And she's also sung in Chinese for her, some of her recitals as well. She has a real um, sensitivity to uh, the meaning of songs and the meaning and, and the uh, empathy to play characters. So that's where I think her strength lies. Sing Sing now holds degrees in both music and accountancy, but her future goals are all musical.
Yeah, that would be great if I could have the opportunity to, to sing all over all around the world and, every, and become famous <laughs> and become a name in the history. And now for the last of our series on Nepal. We head to the hills to learn a bit about trekking and on a hilltop settlement we meet with a party of Kiwi aid workers helping build a village in under a week. We start in the tourist town of Pokhara. Mm -hmm. 